Hello, I'm Tom Greaves, welcome to Golfing World, and this week we are walking a hole with one of the biggest names in golf, world number four, Martin Keimer. We're on the ninth hole here at the Earth Course in Dubai, and Martin looks ready to go with the driver, so let's go and see what he's got planned. Martin, thanks yeah. for doing this. No problem. What's the plan with the tee shot here? It's a tough hole. Uh, I, I always hit driver here, I try to just hit it between the bunkers. You know, I think both bunkers are reachable, but it's a fairly wide wide fairway, so I got to aim towards the green side bunkers, just right of the green. But if you make four, four days, it's a pretty good score. Perfect, well let's see how you get on. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Beautiful. Right on line. Let's oh. make a move. Yeah. It's not there before you, eh? No, I got this. Okay. I got this. So here we are, nearly reaching the end of this 2011 season, and it's been, well, quite a special one for you. How do you assess your season so far? I think, you know, obviously the expectations after 2010 were very high, but uh, I won two, two tournaments again, one World Golf Champion event, which was huge in China, and became number one in the world in March. So I'm, I'm still happy with the season, absolutely. And I didn't, I didn't perform the way I wanted this year in the majors, and, but fortunately I could, I could win a big one this year, um, HSBC. So it was, you know, it was still okay, but next year is, is going to be, you know, more focus on the on the big tournaments again. You made some changes to your swing this year. A lot of people heard about them. Was that a positive experience for you? Are you glad you did that? Absolutely. You know, the way I played in China was fantastic. You know, I felt great about my swing, and I, every week I play, I play better. I play. Uh, uh, I feel more comfortable about it and it was the change that I thought was necessary because I thought I can become an even better player, I can improve my game and I think if you see that room for improvement, you know, you want to get there one day and you know, even some people said, yeah, but with that swing that you had before, you became number one in the world, you won the major, yeah, but I think, uh, I think I can win more tournaments. So your balls found the left half of this fairway here. Yeah. What's the, what's the shot remaining here? We've got about, what, 200 yards? Well, we have 200 meters to the flag, a little uphill. So another eight to 10 yards, so probably two, two or eight meters to the flag. So I'm gonna aim straight at the, straight at the stairs of the grandstands. Oh, a little fat, a little a right. Little bit to the right. Not a good one. And the green side bunker. But I'm not bad from the bunker, so we'll see. How hard was that experience of being number one? Because it's, it's suddenly a lot more pressure than you're used to, I guess. It's not so much the pressure, it's just the, the thing that you don't know what's, what's really happened at the moment. You know, for me, it was quite big to be the number one in, in the world, because in Germany, all of a sudden, I became more famous, more popular. All of a sudden, I was the German golf face. You know, it was always Bernard Langer and then has changed a little bit, so I got more attention. Um, it was just a new role that you, that, that you get and that you have to get used to and to handle. But, um, you know, it didn't, it didn't put more pressure on myself. It was just something that I was not uh, used to being in that position. Okay, Martin, you've got the, you've got the wedge in your hand, I've got the rake. What's the, what's the shot here? Well, it's, it's not, not a very easy bunker, co uh, bunker shot because it's quite long. It's a little bit into the wind, a little uphill lie. So in, usually I would take a sand wedge, but because of all the circumstances here, I'd rather take a gap wedge to get a little bit more distance. You gotta see where you wanna pitch it. It's not, not about how, how far you hit it behind the ball. It's what all amateurs always ask me when, when we're playing pro ams. How far do you hit behind the ball? And you know, it's just a feel, a feel thing, a practice thing. But important is that you finish your swing and keep your keep your head down. Yeah, great shot. Yeah, I think this putt is pretty straight. I don't see a lot of break. So I would go just straight putt, a little firm. I try to hit a firm that stays straight. Okay, on you go. No, nope. went a little right, right to left. Well, that's five. 
bogey for Martin Keimer, but I think probably it's mostly my fault. That's okay. Thank you very no much. Problem. That was a pleasure to walk out with you. Right. And have a great tournament. We'll certainly be looking out for you. I'll try. Thank you. Fantastic there to talk to Martin Keimer. And he really is one of the nicest guys in the game and certainly one of the best. If you like this feature, there are loads more like it at golfingworld.tv. And of course, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more updates throughout the week.